would you assess the, the passing attack through tonight's win? Uh, I mean, we pretty much just, you know, trusting the game plan, you know, work the run, work the pass, and you see it works out well. I mean, we could have done better. We had a lot of missed opportunities, but we'll execute those, get those right in practice. You, you made a, a great play. You sort of turned that fourth down play into a positive. Yes, what went through your mind? Did you know exactly where you were on the field? Uh, I mean, I knew where I was on the field. Uh, and I knew it was fourth down, so it was pretty much go hard or go home. So I was even going to get it. And it was just a great play, great play drawn up. So I just we just executed the play, that's all. It wasn't pretty, but you guys pulled out the win. Yeah. How does it feel to pick that up, you know, knowing everything you guys went through? I um, mean, SMU, they were a top 25 team last year, so beating them, is, that's just a great accomplishment for us. I mean, we know who we have on our side of the ball, so when we go out there, we just played our standard. And, you know, it shows we can beat the top teams. 3-0, and going into Big Ten play next week, going to the big house next week. Uh, how does that maybe give you guys a boost going in just knowing that you've gone three for three so far? I um, mean, it's always great to have a winning record, but... I mean, our standard doesn't change, so regardless of who we play, even if we had lost this game, our standard doesn't change. We're still going to play to a high level, so I mean, it's a great confidence boost, but, you know, we'd have been good without it. You got the win, but the passing game wasn't working as well as, as you know, last year, the first two games, so what were you guys sort of talking about and how to, how to address that? I mean, mainly just not beating ourselves, because... Everything that goes on in our offense, whether it's negative or positive, it's on us. So negative things is mainly on us. I mean, you know, we played great teams. So but when we play to our standard, like I said, we just, we can't be stopped. Can you describe, I mean, the emotion or thought in your head when it seems like there's a positive play and then gets called back for a penalty and then there's another penalty? Like when it kind of starts snowballing like that, what's going through? I mean, that's just adversity, you know. Stuff like that always going to happen throughout the game of football and it'll continue to happen. So. It's really just having that next play mentality because you know, that's all that matters, the next play. You can't do anything about the last play, you know. So that's one thing we've been, you know, really focusing on, Coach Locks been focusing on, just playing that next play and not worrying about what happened and just water off the duck's back and just continue to play the game. You guys haven't had a close game this year. So, I mean, in the fourth quarter when it's tied and you're you're driving, what what is the offensive mindset there? Uh, just execute. You know, it's great to get one of these games early in the season, one of those shootouts, because it prepares us for the games in the long run, the tougher games. So this probably won't be the last, but, you know, it's a great opportunity.